I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Stardew Valley Doing It All, episode 34. So, I've come to the conclusion that it's possible that we might get all of the main villagers to five hearts by the end of the year. We're getting to the point where we have a lot of people at five hearts or above. Even Caroline was able to jump up to five hearts because I gave her something she loved on her birthday. So, depending on who has birthdays left in the year, and I'll have to double check, but we might be able to get almost everybody to at least five hearts. And that'd be pretty cool in and of itself. It's not everyone to eight hearts, that's for sure. But I'm pretty sure that if I were to do this challenge over again, I would probably rush the catalog early on so that I could do this wallpaper thing from, like, spring. And then all I'd have to do is maintain giving gifts to Haley that she at least likes. But that would be a lot less difficult than trying to get the whole sashimi thing going and the mayonnaise thing going. So if I do this challenge again, and I probably will to try and succeed at it, I will definitely put a heavy emphasis on getting the catalog early. And also just sort of in general working harder at making money earlier. Because money does solve a lot of problems, and the majority of things that we still have to do, we can't do because we can't get to the desert. So, like, if we could get to the desert, we'd have a lot easier time completing most of the things. For example, uh, getting the last rare crow because we do have 7 of 8 as of this episode. Yeah, 7 of 8. Uh, getting the last rare crow requires that we go to the desert to do the casino thing, but also it has to be done before fall, so now we can't do that anyways. Uh, getting the woods... or not the wood skip, I always think it's the wood skip. Getting the, uh, the sandfish, I think it's called. It's probably called the sandfish, but getting whatever the, uh, the desert fish is that's necessary for the bundle helps us complete the community center more. Specifically, the fish tank bundle plaque thing is all done except for just the sandfish. But if we catch the sandfish and the scorpion carp, then we would be in a position where we would have almost all of the fish done. At that point, we just need to get, to get like the uh, two new fish that were added. But like I've said before, that can't be done until you complete the community center anyways. So, you know, you just have to do the community center first. But that would get the star drop done there. What else requires the desert? Um, we don't really need any of the forageables from it, nor do we really need to go into the skull cavern. We do have the skull key, because I got down to floor 120 in the mines, I think, last episode or the episode before that. So we have the skull key, but we can't go to the desert in the first place, and even if we could, there's not a lot of reason to go into the skull cavern. We don't need Iridium that much, and it's really difficult to get anywhere in the Skull Cavern if you don't already have, like, really high-end equipment. And I've probably mentioned this before, but that's actually one of the things that annoys me the most about, uh, about the desert, the Skull Cavern, is that there's basically a hard cap to how much armor you can get, even using foods that give you temporary boost to defense. The massive amounts of damage that the enemies in the Skull Cavern do just can't be mitigated by the amount of defense you can have. You can have the best boots in the game. I think they're like the space boots or whatever. And that plus all the best foods that give you defense in the game, because I don't think they stack, just doesn't give you enough. They st the monsters still kill you in like four or five hits. So I really wish that it were possible to stack up more defense, like if other armor slots, or if other slots could be used to get a lot of defense. Or even if there was just like a separate armor slot where it could be like, you know, you're wearing armor and it isn't active in the town, but if you go into the mines then you can see it on your character, that would be totally fine. And then you'd be able to have armor and there could be, you know, really strong armor that makes it so the Skull Cavern is comparatively weak but the armor is hard to get. That would be pretty good, like even if it had to be, you know, get down to floor 50 or 100 or whatever in in the Skull Cavern itself to be able to get the armor, that would still be better than never being able to make the Skull Cavern easier to do. 
I mean, I guess I can kind of understand why the Skull Cavern is supposed to be hard. Because it is endless, so, you know, you, you can just keep going deeper and deeper, and if the Skull Cavern's too easy, then you can get too deep too easily, and then Iridium's too easy to get, and then you just end up with, like, a whole bunch of problems where, uh, Iridium becomes too easy, but Iridium is already too easy if you know the right strategies to use in the Skull Cavern. But maybe it could be, like, scaling difficulty, so the deeper you get, the harder the monsters hit. Or maybe even have new monsters appear after you get to certain depths. But just basically anything except monsters are always the same strength in the Skull Cavern, and you can never build enough defense to make them not hurt really, really badly. I don't know, there's, there's a lot of things I'd probably change about this game if I could. But unfortunately, it's not yet open source, and modding is pretty difficult. I don't think you can really change too much with modding, just because of how it's structured. So having a really solid modding API would be at least a good step in the right direction towards being able to fix all these like little minor inconveniences. But uh, we're coming up on the end of the video, so I hope you guys are all enjoying the series. If you are, remember to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you aren't already. It really helps out and you get these videos straight to your inbox every day at noon Pacific Standard Time. But other than that, I'll see you guys all next time.